hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate firebase crashlytics in a native android project so yeah let's get started so firstly uh, i have created a native android application i am using uh, xml layout but if you want you can use jetpack compose as well uh, so first all you have to do is go to firebase.google.com sign up then just click on create project i'll just name it as uh, my project okay and i'll just click on continue i'll just this i don't require google analytics and let uh, let us just wait till this get completed okay then click on continue then i'll just select this android icon and then i have to search for my uh, package name so here it is my package name inside my build.gradle of app i'll copy it i'll paste it over here i don't need to give this okay i'll just click on register app then we will have to download this google service json file i'll click on next uh, i'll go to android and i'll click on the project drop down i'll open the app folder I'll, I'll go to my downloads folder and here i have my google services.json file i'll just drag and drop inside my app folder and i'll just click on refactor I'll again go to my Android drop down. Uh, the next thing which we have to do is again uh, go back to Firebase. And here we will just copy paste this particular code. Uh, go to our build.gradle.kts and paste it over here. Then we'll have to copy this. So we already have this when you create a native Android application. Don't copy this. Just copy this part com.google.com. Uh, GMS go to this build.gradle and paste it over here. So as you can see we already have that uh, Android dot application. It's just written in a different way Then we have to copy this Platform bomb I'll paste it over here. Now it will give me a warning uh, Ignore this firebase analytics like that is just my intelligence uh, So here I will right click on it and replace with new library catalog version for firebase dom so ba what basically it does is that i'll just click quickly click on sync now basically what it does is that it writes the version inside libs.versions.toml so if you see firebase bomb has been added over here as well as over here this particular code has also been written i'll quickly update these libraries as well so just right click on it whatever is the latest version i'm just using that okay and here uh we will get one error once uh, i mean this is not actually correct because we have to write platform thing as well but i like i would like android studio to help me out with that so okay as you can see we are getting this warning just right click on it again and it tells add platform to bomb declaration i'll quickly add that and i'll again click on sync now then okay so this is done I'll just click on next, go to console, go to run, click on crash analytics and here just click on add SDK. Okay, so here you can see we are using this bomb dependency. So we will have to add this two uh, lines of code. Just copy it and I will add it over here. Uh, again, don't worry about this warning for now all right uh, then uh, okay then we have to add this bit of code so i'll just copy this okay and we have to add it inside our project build.gradle so i'll go to over here and i'll add it over here then i have to add this so i'll just copy this i go to build.gradle.kts i'll scroll up i'll add this over here then uh, we just have to click on sync now next uh, let it do the syncing it will take little bit of time i will just add one id 
ओके एट द रेट आई डी आई डी बी टी एन आई मेक श्योर दिस इज अ बटन एज वेल ओके एंड आई विल वॉट आई एम बेसिकली ट्राइंग टू डू इज आई एम फोर्सिंग इट टू क्रैश सो दैट वी कैन सी दैट पर्टिकुलर क्रैश इन साइड अवर क्रैश रिलेटिक्स डैशबोर्ड सो आई विल जस्ट डू आर डॉट आई डी डॉट बटन डॉट सेट ऑन क्लिक लिस्नर एंड हियर इट टेल्स यू दैट जस्ट थ्रो दिस रन टाइम क्रैश ओके The next thing what I will do is, I will quickly connect my device uh, via wireless debugging. So hopefully it should be available any time soon. But uh, what I what I will what I would like to mention is that don't just write this throw runtime crash over here. Uh, some people might think why do I need to create a button? The uh, the reason I think it's better to create a button is because. Uh, it like once your app is loaded give it some time so that it can connect with the uh, firebase backend as well okay that might take a little bit of time if you are directly crashing it inside the on create part itself then it might not get some time to connect with the firebase backend and even though you tried it 100 times your app is crashing as soon as it is been created so it, it is not getting enough time to uh, connect with the uh, firebase backend i hope you are getting what i'm trying to say but uh, as you can see i'll go back to my firebase console i'll quickly refresh it my app is still not run ran yet it is still working so here you can see i'm still seeing this ad sdk but as you can see my app is now running okay here you can see the hello world button and here you can see it automatically changed app detected okay and we are waiting for a crash now i would highly suggest you to wait 5 to 10 seconds before you can simulate the crash so that uh, uh, your app can connect with the firebase backend now i will just click on hello world okay it will simulate the crash for me okay so my app crashed sometimes this take a little bit of time so be patient again i am refreshing it yeah it, it is not detected but yeah just be patient or what you can do is you can crash your app multiple times uh, and be a little patient that's all we can do uh, but yeah i will quickly crash my app 5 4 5 4 times and uh, uh, i will come back once it is showing us the proper dashboard okay, so as you can see uh, my crash was detected as you uh, so here is my crash and if you want you can just go inside it and uh, uh, like try to debug what exactly is causing the what is the reason for the particular ca crash as well like it is telling you it is a fresh issue and it has happened on line 22 of your activity as well so uh, so here yeah you can just click on it and you can see what device it is causing on and when it happened and all that stuff so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye